Hey everybody, this is Anne-Marie from Northside Gym. Hope everybody is doing great. Welcome to my garage. Uh, this afternoon I wanted to do a quick introduction uh, tips uh, video about TRX training because I'm going to be uploading three different uh, workouts this week so you can do uh, like one each, each uh, once a week. Uh, so I'm going to put a full body workout, a, an upper body and core training and a lower body and core as well. So just before um, uploading the videos, I wanted to do that quick videos to just introduce you to TRX training for those who are not very familiar with it. Um, advantage of this thing is like it's pretty much you can use it really anywhere like outside in the park in your in your backyard at home you can squeeze it into a door frame kind of thing if you do that just make sure though that you tell everybody in the house that you're using that door so they don't open the door while you're hanging to your TRX uh, it happens to me so that's why I'm telling it to you uh, so yeah so first of all uh, you can also do your own TRX you don't have to buy that like 150 expensive TRX uh, brand thing. You can do your own suspension trainer. Uh, if you do it, you can uh, look online on YouTube. There's a bunch of videos. I found a, a bunch. Uh, you can use uh, kind of ropes you find at your hardware like local store. Uh, for the handles, you can use some kind of PVC uh, pipes. Uh, and just don't forget about that kind of straps underneath the handle. So you got the handle and underneath you got a nice strap which would be for your uh, all your core exercise, your hamstring exercise. So it's really useful to have that strap. So don't forget about it. I know a few videos online like didn't mention it but it's kind of useful to have. So um, first thing I wanted to show you is how to adjust the length of the TRX because sometimes you can start and like you kind of don't know exactly how long it should be hanging from uh, from your anchor. Uh, yeah, so first thing, like your medium length would uh, probably be at your uh, tight level. So when you hang your TRX, like you can start with the mid length, which is a handle uh, around your mid thigh. So that will be your mid length. Uh, all our shorter exercise, our triceps uh, press exercise will be at mid length. You're going to see it in the, the training that I'm going to send you. You'll find the link just underneath that video on our YouTube channel. You can click on the link and that's going to bring you to uh, the actual workout uh, sheet. Uh, so yeah, mid length. Then you got your short length that would be bringing your two handles approximately to your uh, hips level. Okay, So both handles at your hips level would be your short length. And if I'm giving you an exercise with long length, that would be uh, your handles pretty much around your knee level. Okay, so that would be your three different lengths that we're going to use for our TRX exercise. Um, other thing I wanted to talk to you about, let me just look at my sheet, make sure I don't forget anything. Um, yeah, so depending on the exercise that you're doing, how to adjust your resistance basically. Uh, it's, it's by moving your feet. So the more you move your feet towards your anchor, the more it's going to be difficult. So if you're doing a rowing exercise, for example, so I'm pulling myself up here. So if I'm, I need to do 10 reps, for example, and I get to, uh, to 9 and I still feel like it's too easy, move your feet forward and adjust to make sure that your resistance is, is uh, appropriate for you. If it's too hard, you will move your feet um, backwards. So just Adjust it to your own level. That's the good thing about that TRX tool is that you can really be using it for all levels, all different kinds of um, of uh, fitness level, pretty much. Uh, so same thing if, if you're on the other side, if you're doing a uh, chest press exercise. So if I'm here, I find it's too uh, easy. I would just step back a bit here and keep doing my chest press exercise. So. Same thing, if it's too easy, move your feet forward, if it's too hard, sorry, move your feet forward and adjust with your level uh, pretty much. Uh, cheating, uh, there's a lot of ways actually to cheat an exercise when you're doing TRX, so try to avoid the, those. Uh, how I cheat would be, um, I would bro push my hips forward first. So if I'm rowing, I don't want to, I want to avoid doing this, like pushing my hips forward. And same thing, I don't want to drop my hips down and kind of swing with my hips here. So try to always keep your body in line when you're doing TRX. That's a really important thing and that's going to be uh, very much better actually for your posture. You're going to feel all those postural muscles that are going to be uh, used during your TRX workout. Um, other than that, uh, cheating would be, yeah, if you anytime you have kind of some loose into your straps, you kind of stop uh, Kind of using your muscles, I should say, 
when you see loose uh, in the straps like that. So always make sure that your straps are always tight. So there's never any kind of loose like that between each of your reps. So you want to keep that straps very tight. Uh, other than that, you would have the, sometimes you can use your TRX with only one uh, handle at a time. Uh, those TRX has that locking loop here at the top, but if you do your own TRX, you might not have that locking loop at the top. So you just want to make sure that if you're using only one handle, that will kind of stop there and not move. So if you don't have that locking uh, strap, you would have to do your one hand grip uh, uh, TRX. So I'm just going to zoom here a bit more so you can kind of have a better look at what to do. So how to lock your handle, so you're going to basically take one handle and pass it through like that triangle shape that you see here. So from left to right, you would pass your handle right through that triangle shape and then you would have a new left handle and a new right handle that, oh sorry, I don't know if we see well, but you would pass it one more time into that triangle shape and then you would kind of just pull a bit and you will have your locking uh, handles here so that thing won't never move it will never lose so if you're using it you can really hang to it um, properly so that would be how to you do your uh, one hand grip so I won't re-explain it in all the next videos so you can just kind of re take a look at this one again a second time um, so yeah so that would be for mostly introduction things and so yeah three videos coming a full body an upper body core and a lower body core. So actually the upper body and the core will be kind of separate. So you, your training will start with an upper body uh, training and finish with some core exercise at the end. So same, the full body will have core inside of it as well. So hope you guys will enjoy and uh, yeah, have a nice workout.